Hey YouTube, Brian Mario slash Darth Goldust here. Today, well, I'm still going through some stuff. I lost my Instagram to my parents because of issues. Sad issues. I can't explain here. Uh, privacy reasons. So I've just been going through a lot lately. So I've been posting in a while. It's been really, really busy. Okay, today I decided to, uh, cause I was watching Gotham the other night. I decided I'd like to review what's going on with Gotham so far. So, here we go. So, for Gotham, the, the, um, okay, I first started watching Gotham Last year, I got the complete. I watched a little bit of Netflix. I got the complete first season, and ever since I watched the show, it's just been amazing. The premise of the show, oh, as most of you know, is origin story-ish stuff. It's meant to be a bit of a crime drama, with Batman characters in it, and so of an origin story for most of them. So I'm gonna be reviewing each season, and it may take it may take a while to get two parts in. So here we go. So here we go. Ooh. Sorry, sorry. I'm just okay. Here we go. In the show. So if I, if I, at first when I watched the pilot, the, the pilot was pretty good. Like it was interesting how they introduced the characters in the show. It's just Gordon, Bullock, Bruce Wayne, Fish Mooney, Mooney, Penguin, all of them. I started with Penguin looked like a bit of a wimpy, be, a wimpy coward, but then uh, the first episode of the sh uh, went on, he showed to be more cunning and clever. Like after two criminals, those as you already know, shot down Batman's parents, bam, bam. Yum, yeah. Penguin. And uh, Gordon started investigating Fish Mooney f f about the murder. About it, and Penguin had ran out. And then they, they ended up thinking that the guy they killed because they think he the one who killed the Wayne because they found the shoot of uh, the they killed the Wayne because they found a diamond neck was similar to the one of Martha Wayne's. But then they f then Penguin reveals that. If you see reveals that Moon, he actually set the guy up that he wasn't the re Wayne murderer for some reason, and God knows why. So then, so that then then he, then Gwen interrogates her about it. They, but she did she not have sense to has her cronies try and to, 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 to defeat to, to try to take down Bullock and Gordon. Then while her main henchman. Original character named Butch Gilzine. But is but then they're saved by uh, by uh, by the crime lord Carl My Falcone. And well, Falcone, who in return for saying that makes Gordon Bullock try and kill Penguin, which Gordon pretends to kill Penguin, but instead shoves him to the water, tells him never never, leave, never come back to Gotham, which the end Penguin escapes. Uh, I get out of the water. He. It's very bad to got there. Like, okay, I'll take it stop here because I'll tell you the way I think of some of the characters in the show. Gordon, I think, is probably one of my favorites. But it's played by Ben McKenzie. He is pretty good, a good character. Like, at the first season, he had a bit of a more moral code, although after the first, the first season, he started to lose a bit of a moral code a little bit. Like, he continues to kill more, like, even though he seemed to want to kill for some reason. I don't know why the heck that's all about. Out. You know, why he stopped his moral code, like Bruce Wayne the first season. Then uh, everybody's away as another, uh, like, and then go, go has a pretty interesting, or like he goes through girl and girl, the shortest relationship he seems to have had was in the third season of Valerie Vale. Although the other two he had was Barbara Keane, and who became a psychopath, and Leslie Tompkins, who left him. Like, I'm, I'm going to do this as best as I can. I think um, I'm going to split this into parts. All right, so far, this is part one. It's going to run at least 12 minutes. 
then yeah. So, so yeah, and he's a bitch. And the chemistry between Gordon and Bullock, I felt in the show, are pretty interesting. Like, one's sarcastic, but funny. The other one's serious. Serious, but a little clueless. It's a pretty good, interesting combination in the, the chemistry they have in the show. And, so, and they seem to be a pretty good duo. Oh, partners and everything. Even if they don't agree on everything, they're still, still pretty good. And they be like the best of friends. And no matter what, they have each other's back. Yeah, which is a pretty interesting storyline they got. Yeah, and, and now, now let's just switch to Batman, really, now Batman. Batman. Bruce Wayne, Batman. Bruce Wayne, and from what I can tell from the first two seasons, like, be more, I think his acting was a little better in the first season, but I think in season three, he started to get a little clueless. Although season four, I think he's now rising back up to the maturity level, from what I've seen. Like, he, see, so because season four, Four, he. Four, four, he's. Pretty. As I say, one, he seems to be like, like, like an adult a little bit. Like he wants to find the guy to kill his parents. He wants to practice really hard until he can get to the point he wants to get to. It's pretty interesting. I, and I liked how they did that with him. And, and Alfred, for a scene per we, is a pretty good mentor to the character. He, like, he. He's supportive, but also make sure he doesn't take things too far. He's tough, intelligent, intelligent, protective, div, protective, div. Um, uh, he can see the good in things most of the time, but he, but he also also advises him when things aren't aren't what they seem to be. He has the be and. He, he, and he should be really loyal to Batman, uh, and even though he's his boss, he still acts like he's the boss of him sometimes, because, you know, adult, kid, that kind of stuff. <laughs> stuff. I mean, I think I like his portrayal better more than the Michael Caine portrayal from the Dark Knight trilogy. I mean, I like Dark Knight Rises and all, but still, Caine is a bit, I can't, can't still, I think the person that done a bit of a better job than Caine did. Did, did. I mean, he, I mean, like, the yeah, accent's pretty good. Like he, he has, yeah, like he, uh, uh, and yeah, and here's so you go. The first season, then it's sort of like it's sort of like a sort of like a crime of the week type thing. The first season, although seasons two, three, and four have more ongoing story arcs. So they split them into two halves for a story arc, and they give they give a subtitle, uh, sub names for them. Like season two, they start off with calling it. Rise of the Villains, even though the essential main villains rise. Then the second half is called Wrath of the Villains, which shows a couple of villains having wrath, I guess. For season three, the first is called Mad City. The second half is called called Heroes Rise. And for season four, is now currently called the Batman Dark Knight. Instead, as night, I'm not sure to call the scene yet. Although season two, two, like I try to put characters in so like roles, like from all the fandom wikis I've seen. They've, or like, for example, but like, like, like here it goes. It goes main antagonist, secondary antagonist, tertiary antagonist, antagonist, coordinary antagonist, quinary antagonist, centenary antagonist. I can go to secondary, but I, out of respect, I'm not gonna go that there. And my ribs are really itchy. Gee, these so for the first se season, the, the I think the villain rolls like this: Penguin is main antagonist, Mooney's secondary, Derry, Falcone's tertiary, and uh, uh, Sherry and uh, Sherry and uh, and some Roni's coordinary. Speaking of Moroni, I think it's a little cheap how they had a kill at the end of the first season. I mean, okay, so let's know this video for, so videos for people who watch the show only all the seasons. And, and it's not, so, because there is spoilers in this review. You, so, yeah. Because he's supposed to be the guy that creates Two-Face. Two-Face, I mean... Today I come number 66, dude. They're gonna try on Two Face and then Phase Moraine tosses the asses straight as face. He got Two Face. Speaking of which, when Harvey Dent only appeared, even though he only appeared in a few episodes, it was very interesting how they 
cover one side of his face with dark light to foreshadow his role as Two Face. Two fa Face, interestingly, even though they never did much with the character, the only ham like in few episodes, then they then they row him off, row him off like, well, off, like it's so pointless that they have certain characters, and they have, like. Another thing, those characters, Montoya and Alan, they're all right characters for the first season, from what I can tell, even though not much development has done to them, but they just roll them off after, off after a few episodes. Like, I just hate when they put characters in the show, and they write them off after a few episodes. Why do they do that? What's the point of adding the characters in if you're just going to write them off? I'll write them off, yeah. Like, they did a, like they did a couple other characters like they did with Valley Vale Season 3, they wrote her off after a few episodes for some reason. Reason, like... I think those characters are supposed to be plot devices for a uh, temporary storyline that needs. Then bam, they no longer exist. It's just cheap. Just, I don't get why they do that. It's cheap. I mean, I like the show and all, but they can at least do a better job with managing. Managing which characters can be written off, which don't mean. At least have a better way of ending their arc and not just writing them off because you just don't feel like it anymore. That's cheap. Yeah, it's, it's, I also I really like the penguin in the show. I mean, Reverend Lord Taylor. I mean, he's actually the character, character to, like he's a bit. He like the kid is stingy, arrogant, gr arrogant, greedy, greedy, cruel, cruel, but also a little, little German like at the time, at, at times. You know what I'm saying? German like like at the time, at times, and games and he's. Uh, and he's and Robert Lutz because I just made a comic con as I posted a video already. Check my channel, you see a video. And this is I'll do part two later, so keep, keep watching for part two.